Hey guys, this is Elisa with another step two question for you. You can feel free to pause right here and read it and answer it on your own and I'm going to get started. So a senior surgical resident berates his intern for forgetting to check a routine CVC for one of the service elective hernia repair patients. When he was an intern, he was constantly humiliated by his chief or even the slightest mistake. Which of the following psychological defense mechanisms is the senior resident demonstrating? So um, what is important here? So it's a senior, right, who's braiding someone below him, so an intern. Um, so let me just go ahead and highlight the senior and the intern. So when he was an intern, um, he was constantly humiliated by his chief. So um, now the senior is basically doing exactly what the chief did to him. And the question is, which defense mechanism is he choosing? This is a very straightforward question. If you know it, you know it. But if you don't, it could be a little difficult. So let's go through the answer choices. Um, so projection. What is projection? Projection is attributing one's undesired feelings or thoughts to another person. So that's like, you know, a husband is cheating on his wife um, and suddenly he accuses her of cheating on him. Um, so for example, in this case, it would be the intern hating the senior um, or the intern thinking the senior hates him when really he's the one who hates the senior. Um, so it's probably not projection. So we can go ahead and cross that one out. Um, uh, reaction formation is a, so projection and reaction formation are probably going to be the two answer choices that you see the most and are kind of, uh, the most well chosen answers. Uh, so reaction formation is transferring an unacceptable impulse into its polar opposite. So let's say, um, the senior resident um, compliments and rewards the intern on a daily basis, even though his chief uh, treated him terribly when he was an intern. So in this case, this isn't what he's doing, so it's not reaction formation. Or um, for example, when somebody uh, yells at you and you're really angry and you, um, transfer the opposite feeling onto someone else. So someone yells at you in the morning and you bring a cake for your coworker the next day. So definitely not reaction formation in this case. Um, identification. Uh, so identification with the aggressor is a common phrase that you should remember. And in this case, that's definitely quite a good, quite a good option. So the senior resident is identifying with exactly what his senior resident did to him. He's treating the intern the exact same way. He is um, basically identifying with the aggressor. So that's a pretty good option. We're gonna leave that one um, uncrossed out for now. Regression is exactly what it sounds like. You are regressing to a childlike state. So let's say, you know, every day after work, the intern starts crying and having a tamper tantrum, and then the next day he brings a stuffed animal to work. Um, uh, that would be an example of regression. Or is anyone, really anyone having a tamper tantrum is, which is not what the senior is doing. Splitting um, is associated with borderline personality disorder. Um, it's an all or nothing view about a person or a subject. So either you're completely wonderful or you're the worst person on earth. Like a patient classically comes to the doctor, the doctor gives him Norco. Oh my goodness, you're the best doctor I've ever had. Thank you so much. The next time the doctor says, no, you should still have Norco from your last visit. And suddenly this doctor is, you know, should have his license revoked and is being threatened to be sued by a patient. Uh, definitely not the case here. And then finally, passive aggression, which is uh, something that probably comes up less on step exams, more in real life. 
Um, so it's expressing aggression toward others indirectly through passivity, failures, or um, any illness. So the senior resident, let's say, would delete orders every morning that the intern placed, even though they were correct, but just so, you know, you'd have to make the intern think about it or redo it. Um, or he rolls his eyes and cuts the intern off during every morning rounds. Basically, it's passive, but it's definitely aggression, which is not the case here because he is not passive about um, the intern's mistake. So the answer is, yay, identification. So the senior is identifying with the senior that uh, treated him poorly, so he's now treating his intern poorly. And I'm going to scroll down to the answers just so you can read everything um, that I just explained and understand it for yourself. All right, thank you so much. I hope you liked that question, and we'll see you next week.